Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful, lovely mothers. We thank God for this opportunity to celebrate once again our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is the Christ. Before we begin our worship service, uh, Miss, we're going to receive our announcements. Good morning, Noah family. Good morning. The Capitol Reserve Committee will host Attention Tuesday, May 16th at 6 VI Zoom. The topic is state planning. Presenter will be Terrence Crum. Everyone is invited to attend. The Winston-Salem District Conference will be held on Friday, May 19th at 9 a.m. at the Daniel A. M. Zion Church. The presiding elders appreciation will be during the lunch hour. The district Sunday school convention will be held on Saturday, May 20th at the Nathaniel Amy Zion, beginning at 9.25 a.m. The annual cookout will be held after the convention at the Old Tower Town Shelter. The Missionary Society Supply Department is participating in a district outreach project to provide adult protective underwear pullers now sizes large and extra large for women and men to be given to senior services. If you would like to help in this project, please bring your donations to the church on Sunday, May 28th. Please contact Rhonda Johnson or Stella Davis if you have any questions. And let us please all remember our sick and shut up. Congratulation announcement. Fred C. C. Henry Jr who most recently served as the Business Engagement Manager of Guilford Works, the Guilford County Workforce Development Board, has been officially named Assistant Director of External Affairs, effective May 3rd, 2023. He will now act as a liaison between workforce de development, economic development, education, and training providers and local industry leaders. Additionally, he will accomplish the Workforce Development Board's mission and vision by promoting and supporting the board's advancement of economic development and workforce strategies and programs throughout Guilford County. He received a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration and a Master of Science degree in Student Personnel, Human Resources, and Business Industry from North Carolina ENT State University. Congratulations to our own Fred Henry Jr. Best wishes and God blesses to you in your position from Bowler Metropolitan Church family. Amen. Lord, on this day in which we honor mothers, may we love and cherish the special women who have borne us, who have nurtured us, and have prayed for us well-being. May our hearts overflow with gratitude to you who formed and knitted each and one of us in our mother's womb. We pray you give each mother strength. We ask you to be our daily bread of tired mothers. May each mother find rest in you. Thank you and happy Mother's Day. Amen. And Mr. Morgan has an announcement also. Thank you. Good morning, Mother Response. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house this morning. Thank you. It is once again that time of year when you wrap up another conference year. They seem to go by so quickly. It's like I was just here yesterday saying the same thing. <laughs> well, what you doing? Know, Square me in, thirteen. <laughs> but as we uh, prepare to close out another year, we would like to take the second Sunday in June, which is June 11th, to acknowledge the work and efforts of our brother, Dr. John L. Ruff, along with his helpmate, Mrs. Jameson Ruff, and show our appreciation at that time. I ask that all organizations make preparations as we do prepare to close out this fiscal conference year. And 
look in our envelope box, and there's a little special code one um, for our pastor. So please make note of that, and let's take care of that promptly. And once again, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Amen. I want to share that one of our associates, Reverend Joyner, is out at one of the churches helping out the pastor and dealing with some health issues. And she has been helping to, to fill the void at Main Road Church. Uh, she delivered the message last Sunday there and the pastor asked her if she could come back and deliver the message today. So she's excited for the opportunity and we pray that God blesses her and the people that she hopes to share God's word with. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now let us stand for the call to worship. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. Amen. You may be, but let us remain standing. We're, we're making an adjustment. Our hymn for opening is hymn number 528, Faith of Our Mothers Living Still. In your hymn book, you'll find one in the pew near you. We want everyone to lift their voices as we sing this beautiful hymn, Faith of Our Mothers Living Still, 528.
want to draw your attention to the book of Mark, the New Testament book of Mark, the seventh chapter. We ask that you go down to verse 24. That is where I will begin my reading. And you have to say amen. Sounds like a lot of folks are still looking for it. You have my permission to moisten your fingertip if you need to.
and those around us that we're able to speak to them from the Word of God and, and they get an understanding that this God that we serve can make ways out of no ways and can do what nobody else can do. Touch Lord. In this situation today, you know what we stand in the need of. And we all have gone through something this week, but Lord, well, here we are. Smiles on our face. Able to call on your holy and righteous name right now. You know what we stand in the need of. You know what we've been through. And Lord, we say thank you. Bless this world that we're in and the turmoil that we're going, we're going through in this world. Because we realize that you are God who can turn things around and make things different in our lives. Touch our young people. Touch our sick and shut in. You know exactly what they stand in the need of. Then, Lord, touch our pastor, and he would give us a word that we can stand on all we will. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you for what you've done in our, our lives. You made ways when we think we were thinking that ways could not be made. We stand here right now. Thank you, Lord. Had not been for you, where would we be? Lord, thank you for the Amazon Church. And Lord, we realize that a lot of people are going through things in our lives, in their lives. Look down upon them. Whatever they stand in the need of, whatever we need right now, we claim it in your precious name. Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost. We pray this prayer. The church say amen. 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 amen.
Let the church say amen. 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 We thank God for this day. We certainly thank Him for all the mothers, those that are still with us, as well as those who have completed their task and gone to rest in the arms of the Lord. And we thank God for all of you today. Because I'm sure that everybody in here wasn't in church the last three or four Sundays. necessary to come today. And if you thought it necessary to come today, I pray that you find it necessary to come every Sunday and celebrate our Lord and Savior. Somebody would say he's been good to me. Somebody would say he's brought me a long way. Every time that I have the opportunity to acknowledge him, I didn't necessarily do what I should have done. But aren't you glad that he gives us more opportunities to draw near to him and to show our love for our Lord and Savior, our love for our family. Let us pray. Father, we seek your divine intervention. We ask right now, Lord, that you would have your way. Use me as your instrument. Look over my shortcomings and my weaknesses and find me sufficient. Jesus name. Amen. 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 From this gospel account, I want to talk with you for a few minutes from the theme, A Crumb of Mercy. In the 27th verse of the 7th chapter of Mark, it says, But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. Your call, man. <laughs> In the scriptures, they say, Ye have not because ye ask not. They also say, Ask, and it shall be given you. Mm -hmm. Seek and ye shall find not, and the door shall be opened unto you. We also read, those of us who read in the word where it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. My brothers and sisters, you've heard saints in their prayers say, Lord, teach me how to pray. And what things to pray for. Often we get off track and not only pray for a house, but we pray that it be furnished. And we pray that it be landscaped. We pray for an automobile and we ask for a specific model and all the extras we want on it. We need to understand that it is more important to pray that God's will be done in all things and 
not for our individual preferences, choices, and desires. When we look in the seventh chapter, we have here a narrative which tells us about how Jesus went to a Gentile country, a country that is north of Galilee. He may have gone there to get away from all of the hustle and bustle for a while. He, of his physical nature, I'm sure needed rest and perhaps time to himself. Perhaps he needed an escape to allow for meditation. As there is a time to appear, so there is also a time to retire. Jesus was looking for a place where he might not be known. What better place to hide than in Gentile territory? For we know that the Jews have no dealings with the Gentiles. We even read in history that a good Jew is considered unclean to associate with Gentiles. However, everything that Jesus did was for a purpose, and his purpose here may have been to spread the gospel to the Gentiles. For we know that when his church is established in the book of Acts, the Gentiles are included in the family of God. Jesus brothers and sisters, is no respecter of persons. I know sometimes we have choices about who we want to interact with, choices about who we like, and choices about who we don't like and don't want to be around, but Jesus is no respecter of persons. He's not concerned about Jewish ceremonial law. He's not concerned about traditions of man. Jesus is more concerned about salvation of mankind and glory and praise and exaltation to a mighty good God. What about you? Are you concerned about what's really important? I don't know if you've been in some storms in your life, but when a storm comes, sometimes you don't have time to guarantee your success in getting out of the way. And I declare, I believe that when that storm begins to hit, you will say something like, Jesus, Lord have mercy. So I, I don't know about you, but I believe that when the storms of life begin to rage, we don't care what other people think about what we're saying. We'll shout out in a minute, Lord, have mercy on me. Yes. The historians say that Jesus went to a place called Tyre, a city in Phoenicia. And when he got there, he went into a house looking for seclusion. But we need to understand that the light of the world cannot be hid. You can hide a candle under a bushel, but the sun cannot be hid. There in town was a woman of Syrian heritage and descent, a Gentile, an alien to the covenant of promise. In other words, she shouldn't have known anything about Jesus, shouldn't have cared anything about Jesus. It, really would not have made a lot of difference to her whether he showed up or didn't show up. Because you see, she didn't believe in Jesus. She probably had some idols somewhere around the house. Nevertheless, this woman saw Jesus. And this woman had a daughter who was possessed by the devil. If she had some religion that she followed, nothing would work. 
Do I have some witnesses in here? Because you see, there are times in all of our lives when we try to do the best that we can do, but and, and we try to live right, and we try to look good, and we try to do what everybody says is going to make a difference, but it doesn't change our situation. This woman and a daughter, and the daughter was possessed. Some of us 